Yes, Jameson, I'm here. What's the matter? Nothing, sir. This letter came for you. It has an important looking seal. Jameson! Yes, sir! Fetch that apprentice of mine and be quick about it. They're coming for a demonstration of my invention. Well, go! At last. At last they believe me. My time machine will be the greatest invention for hundreds of years. And for hundreds to come. Oh dear, they're here already. Jameson, I must greet our guests. Finish cleaning, will you? Yes, sir. What can I do? Oh, uh, why don't you pick up some of those tools? Great! Yes, great! Jameson and Satine? This is the head of world science studies. Head of world science studies. Get on studies. with it. <clears throat> uh, can you give us a summary on how it works? Of course. You see, it works on a fairly simple principle. Time, space, and gravity make up a universal fabric. The time machine uses this fabric to bend and stretch and allows you to pass through a different time period. And is it uh, consistent in sending you to the correct time period? Yes, it took a while, but I was able to adjust the gravitational field to a specific time in history. I'm completely tested to travel to the future as well. I assume this is strictly for scientific purposes, such as just discovering historical building techniques and cultural observations. As you know, a disruption in the past could destroy our present. Yes, I've always taken the utmost care when traveling through time. Would you give us a demonstration? Right this way. For this demonstration, I, Dr. Andrew Valley Quack, will send my little apprentice, Satine, back in time and home again in front of your very eyes. Prepare to be amazed. This is terrible. Terrible? Yes, no. I mean, yes, it worked. But there's five power cells missing. Where are they? They must have come loose when we were swept back in time with team. What now? Well, she could have gotten back with the remote. What? What now? I, I may have forgotten to send a remote back with team. I could construct five new power cells, but that could take quite a few weeks. But she might not survive that long in the past. Exactly. But there could still be a solution. What is it? We can send Jameson back in time. And this is helpful, how? Well, if the time machine does not already have a destination typed in, it has the habit of revisiting places it has already been to previously. I have already been to five different locations, so theoretically, Satine and the power cells are in just one or multiple periods in time. But how, Doctor, do you plan on sending them all back here? This is a safety device I designed for emergencies. This button brings you back to the present, and this button takes you places to the past that you've already been to. If we send Jameson back in time and find the rental power cells, we could bring us the team back home. Brilliant. So I have to find the power cells? Precisely. Easy as pie. Are you sure that's Good luck, really Jameson. Wow. Could this be London? I suppose Dr. Quack wouldn't mind if I just take a peek. After all, the agents will need photos. I believe you'll find this quite valuable. Hey, that's mine! Is it really? What well, belongs to a guy I work for? He made it. How much? 700. Five no more. Hey, I need that for the time machine. No, that sounds valuable. Oops. All right, how do we get it? Oh, come on. You can't expect them to just give you the information. Not for nothing. Give me the power cell to give you the information. Now, the information. Well, I'm from the past, so that's where I'm going. Looking for this? You'd better get that back. Why? Hi, Art. 
birthday back yet. Word of this must not get out. Well, I suppose they could still be searching for one another. It could be hours or even days before they finally join up. And... and Dr. Quack, according to my clock, you have 45 minutes left to your presentation. But... No buts. If your two apprentices are not back here within the time, the time is up. I will deem your experiment a failure and revoke your invention license. The clock is ticking. Hello? Is there anyone in here? Of course there is. It's a bad idea to leave the stall unattended. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I find the cows relaxing. Have you come for a reading? Uh, no. Hey, that's a power cell. Yes, I found it while looking for herbs. It's very valuable. I know it is. It belongs to a guy I work for. He made it. It very well may be, but I'll need payment before you take it. Well, I don't have any money. Then give me information. Information? Yes, you aren't from here. Tell me of the future. How did you know? I may be old, but I'm not blind. Now tell me of the future. What do you need to know? Everything. Hey, boss. Julie, I haven't seen any of your work lately. What's the scoop? I have a real breakthrough this time. Get this. Scientist sends people back in newly invented time machine with catastrophic results. What? It's true. I got the whole story. Send it in as soon as you can. Work day and night if you have to. If this comes through, this will skyrocket our company. I'll wrap it up as soon as I can. I can't wait for you to see this. At least one of these should reach the team. Odd. Oh well, at least I know she's safe. I found a spy wandering through our camp. I told you, I'm not a spy! You're dismissed, Private. You claim you're a spy? No, sir. What were you doing sneaking around my camp? Looking for power cells, sir. Power cells? What are power cells? Well, they're a bit hard to explain, but... <gasps> There's one! This? Yeah! Give me that! No, I can't risk losing it! Ladies, ladies, everybody is entitled to buy. Everybody is entitled to a good buy. Right over here and get it. Please come over here and get it. Now look at me and two. That's in front. How are you? She's stealing my apples! Get her! You're coming with me, girl! You just dropped in, I'm already getting fired at. Hey boss, I think we've got an extra body. Uh, I'm not a body, I'm just looking for power cells. <gasps> There's one! I don't know who you are or what you're doing, but we are taking you to the boss.
Jameson? What are you doing here? Forgetting something. Who are you? Stand back, he's dangerous! Me? Dangerous? You're the dangerous one. Sending me back in time and leaving me there. All I want to do is to go home. Don't fall for it, Satine. All he wants to do is steal the time machine. <sighs> Take me with you or your friend will get it. No, just hold on. Maybe we can... Satine, <laughs> quick! Take these power cells and go! A man once said that true success requires sacrifice. And that man was undeniably correct. Yes, I was able to deliver the power cells back to his intelligence, Dr. Quack. And we were even able to overcome an ever-persistent and greed-driven cyborg. After my return, I was able to return to Dr. Quack's lab Unfortunately, the time machine had to be destroyed due to the absence of Jameson. It's been a few years since Jameson died for a cause. After many unsuccessful searches, I was able to find my friend. It was on a cloudy, misty afternoon that I was able to discover the answer to the question. We'd all been inquiring. Just where was Jameson? I found him six feet underground, next to the others that had gone from this life. As I read his tombstone, I remember the times we'd worked together with Dr. Quack. Jameson Lee, you shall be missed, dear friend. Indeed you will.
Thank you.